Hello learners, welcome to the session on human resource development and sustainability. Uh, it is part of the postgraduate diploma in sustainability science course sustainability science. So uh, it would be very interesting to know about human resource development and how does it relate to sustainability. So let us first understand what is the meaning of human resource. Labor and human resource, how is it different? Labor does the work, it's like a working capital, working individuals. But when you talk of human resource, as the name indicates, it's a resource. They have immense potential. They have uh, creativities. They have uh, thinking power. So human resource and labor, if we say that human resources as a individual, if we put that, if we assign any work to a person and we get that work done, that comes in the form of labor. The work is being done. But when you talk about human resources, we have to consider them that apart from the work that is that they are doing, they also have a huge creativity in them. They have a huge potential of imp improvement in the work that they are doing. So therefore, we must strive for human resource development in the country. And Human resource development is also important for the development of the society and the nation as a whole because human resource development means creating a suitable environment. It means creating an environment where we are able to give all sorts of facilities to the people, where we are able to give good education, where we are able to ensure that their health is safeguarded, where we are able to give them a good quality life, where we are able to give space to them where they can practice their hobbies. So it is a whole range of practices, measures which are being taken for the optimum utilization of the potential that they are having. So when we talk about human resource development, it means and it encompasses lot many things where we strive to create a suitable environment, a suitable environment where they can fully grow, where they can fully get themselves mature and come up to their maximum potential. So now why do we think that it is important to have human resource development? Because the real wealth of any country is the people, is the human resource or you can say because they make any country because by virtue of their behaviors, by virtue of their actions, by virtue of their own beliefs, by virtue of their economic activity, any aspect you take, it is very clear that humans and the people are the backbone of any nation. Other things and other uh, uh, infrastructure which we are getting out of the development is useless if the people are not able to use them properly. If we do not have a uh, good uh, or you can say a educated and fully developed human resources in our country. And it is much more than the rise and fall of the national income and it doesn't come simply by educating the people also or by just improving the literacy level of the people but it has a lot more things uh, in it and a lot more issues are involved with the human resource development. And if you talk about the sustainable development, sustainable development has a uh, is a main component of human development is there in that and which says that it is like a managing a portfolio of assets to preserve and enhance the opportunity. So opportunity is also very important uh, in the context of human resource development because we have to give them good livelihood opportunities, we have to give them good educational opportunities, we have to give them good opportunities for expression. So opportunity has got a very important and very meaningful role in human resource development. So, what are the issues which are related to human resource development? In other words, we can say that what we have to address in order to have a human resource development. So, some of the important parameters or you can say the drivers and the issues are, for example, number one is social progress. Social progress means an individual is entitled to have uh, good health, good education. 
uh, uh, nutritious food. So all this comes under social progress. So this is also very important because many times simply um, uh, addressing the other issues and improving the economic level of the people will not help unless and until we are able to give them a social progress, a social security. Uh, a cultured society you can say. So every individual needs to have all these things also which are very important for its own development. Of course economics is important as it is mentioned economics means improvement in the standard of living of the people and it comes by way of economic development where we uh, uh, where the individuals or the human resources are able to uh, make their own living, they are able to expand their livelihoods, we are able to expand their opportunities, they, they also have uh, the fruits of development, they are able to make economic progress, they are able to live better, uh, that is the economics and the efficiency means efficiency in terms of usage of the resources where uh, resource utilization or the natural resources you are saying there should be uh, equitable access to the uh, natural resources should be there because many times uh, why it happens that some people uh, as simple as that live in a damp places some people live in a very spacious bungalows some people do not have access to electricity some have do not have access to water so there should be equality in terms of the distribution of the vital resources we can say so all these resources uh, is very important and it should be efficiency in the distribution of the resources. Equity must be there, whatever we are getting out of the development, it should be shared equally. There should not be a divide between the rich and the poor. The gap should be minimized, there should be uh, equal uh, distribution of the profits. Uh, of uh, development must be however in most of the cases it has been seen that we fail to address these issues participation and freedom are very important where individuals are able to participate freely uh, they are able to maintain their cultures they are able to have a say in the decision making they have a role to play in different uh, forums they have a freedom of expressions, they have to freedom to raise their voices, their opinions. So that kind of participation and freedom is very essential. Sustainability of the action, sustainability of the environment, sustainability of the activities, sustainability of the different functions that are being done, all, all these um, measures which we are taking sustainability of all these things are very important and human security a person should be uh, made to feel secure which is devoid of any crime theft or any other kind of a mental torture you can say so these are some of the very important elements uh, to foster human resource development and all these things uh, can be met by the sustainable societies we can say so these issues are very important and uh, in view of this in order to meet of uh, meet all these uh, elements uh, we need to have a proper and a transparent uh, system to see that the people irrespective of the place irrespective of the religion irrespective of any class irrespective of rural urban they are able to have all these elements so as to use them so as to develop and flourish in a equal manner. So there is a uh, role of environmental governance just now we were talking that what, what is required to have human resource development. There is a role of environmental governance in human resource development. There is a need of reforms. We, just now we had RTIs that has come so that people can know the different schemes which are launched by the government. So lot of reforms are required not only uh, in terms of uh, economics or in terms of poli uh, policies but also with respect to the social norms and values which we are having. So lot of reformation is required. There should be transparency in the system, in the functioning of the government of their various levels, in the functioning of the organizations at the various levels. So people should feel that there is a transparent system and they, uh, they, they must be, they must feel free to exercise their powers. There must be effective participation in the decision making, development of capacities of institutions is very essential and proper monitoring and evaluation that is required because uh, in, in case of funding also from the government sectors we see that in, in uh, due to lack of proper monitoring and evaluation many times 
the policies are not able to uh, get implemented properly because there is a lack of proper monitoring and evaluation taking place. So we need to uh, check all these levels, we need to have a uh, effective governance in order to ensure that human resource development is taking place. And this is human uh, development index which is a composite index annually published by UN since 1990 and it measures the well-being of the people in different countries. So it states that how people are well to do in different countries and according to this index it takes uh, three dimensions a long and healthy life which is calculated by life expectancy of the people, knowledge which is calculated by the literacy rate of the people in any country and a decent standard of living. However, there are certain critics of HDI which say that uh, sustainability, gender equality, you know certain things are left behind and it does not take into account several factors which are also uh, very important as compared uh, as if you look if you just now we were talking about human resource development and the different elements and issues associated with it. So other things are also very important while calculating HDI. So uh, according to this thing India stands at the rank of 129 out of 189 countries according to 2019 index. So our people and we are far behind as compared to the human development index because uh, that means we have to uh, focus our attention, focus our efforts towards several things which are important to see that there is a proper human resource development taking place that we are able to provide all those conditions con which are conducive for the development of human resources in our country. Then there is a gross national happiness index which states that it is also very important to see that whether people are happy or not and it comes from the belief that happiness is a function of non-material factors. That means there are other factors which, which will make you happy uh, other than your economy or your job and other things. So this is also an index uh, which, is, which, which measures the happiness of the people in different countries. So there are different uh, indicators of happiness, for example, psychological well-being, there should be no stress, strain, uh, time use, how we are using our time uh, apart from the time which is left by work, leisure activities, how we are doing, how we are spending, community, um, how is the community life, culturally how rich we are health is very important, education is very important, environmental diversity, living standard, governance. So these are the indicators which uh, entail the happiness of individuals, which tell that whether the person is happy or not. According to world happiness ranking, uh, according to 8th uh, report, I think we can say, uh, it is clearly said that we are happy by the combination of factors. We cannot be happy uh, just uh, uh, by the social elements or just by the environmental or the economic elements but uh, being happy requires uh, inputs or you can say requires factors from social, urban and natural environment and all these combine to make us happy. So uh, here we can see that yes the importance of natural environment is also huge in making us happy and it clearly states that environmental protection is very important for our happy survival. And this report is a landmark survey of happiness of citizens across the world and uh, according to 2018, 156 countries uh, have been marked and India stands at 144. Uh, number according to this report and that clearly states that our people are not happy and it has been uh, said also that India uh, in India uh, the people are depressed the people are sad and it is also uh, it has also come out by several studies so we have to see that how we are able to ensure that happiness is also there along with other factors when we talk about human resource development. So according to the happiness, uh, world happiness ranking 2020, just now uh, what we were saying, Finland tops the list of the happiest countries of the world and India stands at the number of 144 out of 156 countries. 
these are the 10 world's happiest countries of 2020. Uh, it's Finland, Denmark, Switzerland, Iceland, Norway, Netherlands, Sweden, New Zealand, Austria, Luxembourg. So here the people are happy. So what all these things have to relate to sustainability, we have to understand that sustainability is an environmental policy and it seeks to strive a balance between environment, society and economy. And it is not for the present generation, but it also strives to have the balance between all these pillars for the coming generation also. So when we talk about human resource development, we have to check whether there is a sustainability of the efforts which we are making towards the development of human resources in our country, whether it is uh, uh, ensuring job opportunities or whether it is ensuring a, a good environment or whether it is like we are able to make them socially happy. We have to see that how sustainable our actions are, how sustainable our measures are. So in this there is a great role which is played by education. Education has a role in terms of teaching in terms of education, in terms of uh, the community engagement, all these things are very important because uh, that is a backbone. If you talk about the human resource also and we consider uh, about happiness indexes or human resource, uh, human development index or you can talk about uh, what we were discussing about the sustainability of our actions. It is very important to check the role of education because while we are teaching in the formal settings and in the informal settings, we are passing on this message to the generations that what is uh, good and what is bad. Similarly, through research, there are a lot of research which is being going on in terms of seeking how to ensure human resource development, what are the parameters for it, what are the different indices for it. So it comes uh, uh, as a role of a research also and community engagement is very important because in, in the informal settings mostly people learn by watching each other, by observing each other, by community interactions. So community interactions and engagements are very powerful tool for checking the sustainability of the actions which we are doing. So that also has a great, great importance and we must ensure that we are able to provide good education to our students so that ultimately human resource comes from the young generation, from the children who are getting the education right now. So providing them good education, providing them good food, providing them better quality life, ultimately in the years to come, it will guarantee the proper human resource development of any country. And it is also important to see that how sustainability is important in context of human resources, what we were talking just now. So it is actually momentum, it is a kind of a momentum in adopting the culture of sustainability. It has to come as a internal feeling, it should come as a intrinsic motivation we can say to change the way we are living. It comes through the change the way of the lifestyles of the people, we have to check what kind of lifestyles. Uh, we are following. Is it environmental friendly or it is environmental degrading? So it, it, it creates a culture, it, it sets the benchmark, it sets the precedence for others and their coming generation to follow. Then there is a competitive advantage because nowadays everybody talks about sustainability of actions, we talk about environmental protection, we talk about sustainable development. So there is a competitive advantage also where everybody is in the race of making their own way towards environmental protection and uh, in this way human resources if it is in that form, if it is properly developed, if it is uh, uh, in its uh, full uh, potential you can say, they will make their own efforts towards protecting the resources of the nature. There is an infusion of positive environment and ethics we can say. So along with this it is ethical behavior on our part to make efforts as an individual for the uh, protection of the environment and conservation of the natural resources. So all these sustainability dimensions, sustainability 
of environment also sustainability of our actions also and ultimately sustainable development they all come together for the overall benefit of the human resources and ultimately for their own full development in this line sustainable development goal we must not forget it is goal 4 which is quality education and it aims to ensure equitable and inclusive education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all it states that um, education must be made available to all and in sdg 4 there are 10 targets and 10 targets uh, relate to affordable education vocational education online education the different uh, uh, tenets of education have been set and it is uh, believed that through right education we can pave the way for proper human resource development thank you